Hey guys, how are you? It's Angel Simmer and welcome back to part 36 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Combinations. We're getting close to the end and I was just playing along this evening, continuing trying to get through the day to get some more exciting um, footage for you guys, but um, we just got a visit from an alien so I thought I'd go ahead and record and yeah, we just cash have an alien at our door he just literally fell from the sky and I thought oh gosh they just I don't even understand so um I think Nate should come speak to the alien because um even though I thought maybe Elijah because you know his father was once abducted by aliens if you remember and I was just sitting over here like Sam 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 and then he just got taken away and I thought this was gonna be like Sims 2 and I thought he was gonna get pregnant because I've never been well my Sims have never been abducted by aliens in Sims 3 before to be honest I didn't even know that Sims 3 aliens existed but I think it came with an expansion pack that's why so that was my first ever visit and they look a lot like the ones in Sims 2 but obviously more Sims 3 like more um realistic looking faces rather than more cartoon, which is how The Sims 4 is, and oh my god, can we just talk about The Sims 4? Um, I just literally have been watching everything about it. This guy looks old, but uh, we're going to chat to him, but um, let me know if you would like me to do a video about The Sims 4, my thoughts on it, if I'm going to get it or not, which I totes am, but I haven't pre-ordered it yet, but um, we can talk about all of that if you want, I can do like a little session um it's up to you I don't mind and yeah and if you've got any questions as well leave them down below um and I'll see if I know the answer to them so yeah we're just talking to this alien cyborg thing and our girlfriend's just chilling like <laughs> so yeah let's just uh chat to this guy maybe we'll get a visit from him for another life um Okay, that's cool. But before we started playing, Elijah just bathed um, Baby Iris. And I was thinking, Baby Iris is just such a beautiful name. I am so glad we named her that. And I'm actually going to age her up pretty soon. Um, even though she was basically born tonight. But what we're going to do is actually going to go to the hospital. <laughs> and, well, since we're there, we might as well get a flu shot because... Well, it's not spring, it's like autumn, but um, just in case, you never know. Uh, okay, he's going. We're going to go get a flu shot, and then we're going to get some plastic surgery. We're going to get plastic surgery, because I really do think that um, Joshi is pretty, but she is not like any of the Sims that I play with. The Sims I play with are more obvious pretty, or they have like more, I don't know, exotic features. Just a little bit more like my sweetheart Sophie Sim or um, Gabriella Emmanuel, my Brazilian bombshell creator Sims. And I don't know, Josie is just really different. She kind of looks like an alien <laughs> more when I think of it. So I thought she should just come over here. Um, I don't know what kind to get. I've only got um, the plastic surgery like once or twice when I first got the expansion pack that it came with, which I don't even remember what it was. But, um,. I don't know whether to do, I know expensive, you're more likely to, you know, get a good plastic surgery experience and come out okay, but with cheap, I know that sometimes it can go wrong and you can have a messed up face, but we are going to go for cheap because we are not like wealthy celebrities or whatever, we are not, you know, we just don't want to just spill 3,000 simoleons, like half of our earnings that we have right now in our household funds. So I thought I'd go ahead and might as well get her a, a shot because she's going to be working quite a lot. And yeah, she's been immuni immunized. Immunized? Oh, message. And we'll be able to avoid nasty germs this year. Yes. And the alien's gone home. Um, yeah. I don't know what I want to fix though, like, or change. Because there's nothing that I want to change. I think it's more her eyes. <laughs> Josie got eye plastic surgery. But, um, you know, she's like an adult. Well, she's a young adult, but, oh, yay. I think it's going to turn out good. I think if it wasn't going to turn out good, we wouldn't have had the option. But, see, I look at her like this, and she looks really pretty. But Okay, so 
This is the new Josie. Um, I think she looks so Hollywood makeover right now. Um, let me just give you a quick 360. I'm going to tell you everything I did. First of all, we shrunk the jaw and we shrunk the chin. We lifted up her cheeks and her uh, cheekbones. We sunk in her cheeks. We gave her a bit of Botox. We lifted her eyebrows. We, um, you know, fixed them up a little bit and the shape, make them look a bit more aggressive. We uh, gave her a different nose. It's like a completely different nose now, but it's quite a nice nose. And her eye shape is completely different now, as you can tell. And I think she looks absolutely freaking gorgeous. She's still Josie, but with a lot of construction, and her eyes are just completely different now. That gives it away. And we also shrunk her ears, even though you can't see it, and we gave her a smaller head as well. And so, yeah, we basically did everything. I was going to give her a little um, beauty mark as well, but I thought, nah. So uh, let's go ahead and see if, hopefully, it's going to be okay. I think she looks absolutely beautiful now. I know it's a lot of surgery. But compared to the old her, for only 950 simoleons, I think she looks pretty good. And she's going to head home now. And I'm also going to go ahead and change her hair because her hair is in definite need of some change. But um, I'm also in the process of trying to find new custom content. So I'm really excited for that. Um... That's going to be really fun because uh, I don't really think there's any hairstyles that are really scream Josie to me. I really like my skins to always change up. I don't usually just stick one hairstyle on them. So she's just going to go upstairs to the bathroom and dye her hair herself and cut it or add some extensions. I don't even know. And I'll get back to you guys when I've done that. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. I think Josie looks absolutely incredible. I feel bad for the plastic surgery, but come on, I just love her. I love the little hair thing I did, uh, so it's just lots of different shades of god knows what shades, you know, back to brown and we changed her eyebrows up, we changed her makeup up so she can actually wear nice makeup and a winged liner and everything, and um, I just wanted to show you how amazing she looks with black, uh, black lipstick, she looks just incredible she reminds me of um some lipsticks from the lime crime makeup um if i may say so and i don't know what lips to go for her and her mum i really struggle to pick a nice lipstick it is full time so i really do think well we're going into full a nice um deep berry plum like this one right here would be a great color and it complements her hair her skin as well as her eyeshadow color so I think I'm gonna go for this it's kind of vampy but it's still acceptable because of the season so I'm kind of just gonna go like that I don't know if I want to add a sheen to it um, or if I liked it a little more messy looking I do like it a bit more like this let me know what you think her chin is really bothering me I liked her old chin a bit better but from the front like her eyes like her face just looks amazing and we also need to go get a spray tan but uh yeah I hope you like her let me know what you think um I think quite a few people have said that they like something or they I think not a lot of people liked her new hair but this is the new Josie and she looks incredible um I don't know if I want to change her well why is it reset she's is it has it reset but I don't know whatever but um she still can't believe she's married. We need to go ahead and actually figure out some clothing for her as well. Like, let's see what she's got on. I can't remember. We may need to go ahead and just quickly change her outfit off camera. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But I love the new her. I absolutely love it so much. She looks like a teenager again. Oh, I love it so much. Oh my god, I love it. Her hair looks a bit bald from the colour, but with her little D Martins, I love it. I love how she looks. Um, I'm just going to go in and change her every day. Please bear with me. Uh, I'll be right back when I'm done. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I took a little longer than I thought I was going to take, so... 
uh, yeah, here we go. Um, <laughs> I I was just thinking, her bloody plastic surgery has turned out so nice, and I'm thinking it was really clever of them to put that in. Ah, just make that game a little bit more realistic, and I think I'm going to change her roots because she just looks bald, but um, it's, there's no rush for that. Uh, I wanted to take her back really to her teen years. As you can see, my favourite custom content, jeans, jeggings, leggings, whatever you want to call them, her little, um, you know, uh, sitting on the shoulder jumper, quote unquote, and some nice little boots. This is kind of like how I dress uh, sometimes. Not often, <laughs> but yeah, that's the first outfit. Moving on to the second outfit. This is something uh, she kind of already had, you know, the shorts and the boots. You guys remember these boots, they're like her signature thing. And I just wanted to add this on because I've got some plans for Josie now. Like I finally found a direction she's gonna take, very different from her mum, as you can already see. She's never been one to really obey the rules. As we all know, she is quite a rebellious one. And yeah, so um, by the way, we're actually gonna go ahead and end the marriage of Elijah, but I will explain that properly in a minute. Okay, so uh, the dress she had before, you know, the mint colored one, I thought I'd just go on and give her a little slip, short dress. She is still a mum, so I'm trying to keep her quite conservative, you know, not re revealing too much at the same time. But um, I tried my best, but this next dress she already had and I thought it looked amazing on her still. So I went ahead and kept it. And finally, what was this? Oh yeah, she already had this outfit also and I just changed up the colors. If it loads, I'll show you. Yeah, we had those leather leggings and we had some pumps and yeah, just that was already on. So yeah, you know, cause she's still young. Um, I think she might regret uh, marrying Elijah also because it's like Elijah like out of everyone in this game she could end up with I don't think she really should be with Elijah I don't think Elijah deserves her to be honest I really really don't um Elijah really annoys me he's a great father and everything but um you know I don't think they were ever meant to be um I think he's gonna go just move back with his mum so she's gonna come downstairs and uh, complain about laziness, argue with him, and then just go ahead and end it because I don't want her to end up cheating on him or anything. I don't want her to have that kind of reputation. I still want her to be liked by the town and everyone. And it's Lady's birthday today, yes! I can't wait for her to grow up because then her and Baxter are gonna have little babies. It's gonna be adorable little puppies. But um, I think it's time for Elijah to go uh, yeah, she's just like, you're lazy, boo. You're lazy. Does he even have a job? Exactly. Unemployed. You're just here, like, because you're the baby daddy. Like, go away. And here we go. She's like, no. We are done. We are done, boo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kick him out right now. <laughs> I never really wanted to have Elijah in my game, you know, in the house and um, I don't think he was a very good choice to be honest I think he can take his life in other directions um, you know oh wait wait since we've got the family tree okay so Samuel is now currently with Myra of course Myra's got her daughter Tanya Hall that she had before <gasps> Kenton they had a boy is that a boy I don't know if it's a boy is that a girl Kenton uh, oh, son. There we go. <laughs> Kenton is a son. And he also has Elijah, who is now, oh my god, Samuel's a grandfather. But then we also have Lily Freeds, who we had with Bella. Ugh. God forbid we ever go near Bella again. But yeah. So that's his family tree. And we are going to kick him out because we can't move him in with his mum. He'll just end up wherever he's gonna end up. But yeah, a lot of you are going to hate me probably for this decision, but um, I hate it when I can't really figure out what direction I'm going to take my sims. This doesn't happen often. Usually their character is set, you know, their personality, their traits, their job. I know exactly how it's going to happen, but not with Josie. And I think, I don't know if this is a phase. If there were to be a midlife crisis, this is probably it, but it's just um, a little earlier on. And... Um, yeah, I think we are definitely, after breakfast, going to give Mr. 
Caleb a call. Was it Caleb? Yes, Caleb. Who's that? <laughs> We're gonna give Caleb a call. Um, yep. Well, there was Jamil. Maybe we should um, maybe we should send him a friendly text and invite him over instead. You know, because I feel like she's gonna end up with Caleb. But like I said, we never know. And what's Iris doing? She's just upstairs. Like my parents just got divorced. Oh my god. I feel so bad, but um, the baby's not deformed, but still no luck. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, Carrie, no, 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 no. That's that stalker chick. No. Um, why are they having sushi? Oh, veggie rolls. I'm gonna get her to go ahead and sew. Okay, she's too bad in the mood. Um, okay, she can go upstairs and go to bed, and then for dinner she can wake up in the afternoon and do that. And Nate's girlfriend's still here from last night. Last night was prom, I think, was it? I'm a bit confused now. Um, I don't think it was. <laughs> but let's go upstairs in his room. Let me see if I actually have put his stuff in his room. Yep, his prom picture's over here. Love it, love it. Ooh. Oh, more messages I need to finish that wall. Um... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, my phone keeps going off. Okay, so where is his king if he got crown king? Oh, I put it on the floor. <laughs> so yeah, that's something I thought he would never be able to do. But uh, yeah, I think at least is a good match for him. What the hell is <sighs> Lady Goddard? Can you like stop? Praise for chewing. No, scold for both. Scold, scold, scold. And why is he drinking coffee? Stop drinking the caffeine and go to sleep. <sighs> Sunday rest day. Okay. And I feel so bad for baby Iris, but I can't get over Josie. She's so hot. I feel like she's found herself. Totes. She's talking to Jamil and she wants to get a tattoo. Do you see where this is going? She's just like... She wants to meet a compatible sign, so I guess that meant her and Elijah weren't very compatible. Oh, she's talking about Elijah. Yeah, I got a divorce. I'm a free bitch, baby. So, yes. Uh, is she inviting him over? Let's see. Yes, Jamil. Uh, does she have the cooking skill level two? Um, she's going to come take a shower. Oh my god, I thought that was Jamil. I was like, why are you running in my house already? But um, Elise is going to go home and Grandad over here is going to come take care of baby Iris. Isis? Iris, sorry. Oh my god, I thought I got her name wrong. But oh gosh, Nate? No, okay. He's going to have to wait at the door for like a split second. Let's take a look. We met him in the park the same day that we met um, Caleb and he's cute. What just happened? What the hell? Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, I guess we better call Mr. Dungarees. We used to so give him a makeover. Maybe make him a little, uh, I don't know, a little darker like her. Give him a few piercings, some tattoos, dark clothing. Oh, I love her makeup. Love it. It's kind of like how I wore mine this past winter. I did a red lip reddish purple lip with that kind of smoky purple eye quite a lot but yeah so now she's invited Caleb let's see if we can do anything with him hopefully he's not just gonna walk away but we're gonna give him a flirtatious greet and Lady Goddard come here lady Lady and Baxter need to get it on they need to get go ahead and just sniff each other's butts do all that good stuff Getting to know each other, business crap. Um, where has he gone? Hank got his retirement pension, and so did Zelda, as well as her book royalties. Um, <laughs> whatever, 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 whatever. All right. Oh, he came to see our baby. Maybe he's family orientated. Is that why? Oh my God, he is. Ooh, he's got nice eyes. Oh snap, oh snap, <gasps> I see a bit of spark here, and they're good friends, but they need to take this like somewhere else, we're going to go ahead and give him a hug, tell him he looks good, let's 
got a nice personality, you know, we're loving you. Give them a little bit of a joke, give a little bit of a flirt and just see how it goes. From there, is our baby okay? Oh, she's asleep, that's great. Uh, Hank, our little babes over here are asleep as well. Cole and Olive, our snake and turtle. Uh, yeah, the snake is Josie's, by the way, in case you didn't know, and the turtle is Cole's, but if you've been watching since fairly the beginning, you would know that. But uh, I'm going to tell him to go to sleep as well, because why not? And Josie's going to go ahead and wake up, I mean Zelda. And these two are officially on a date, pretty cute. Justin Keaton, we do not care about your birthday. And we're just going to fast forward, see what goes on. And I'm going to get Zelda to come downstairs and make a nice pizza for everybody and then clean up the kitchen a little clean up the laundry as well oh Baxter stinks so maybe we can go ahead and give him a little bit of a bath and let's see what little miss lady is doing she is so cute I really want to see what she's going to look like when she grows up I think she's going to be a big dog I can't remember if she's a big or a small dog but I really want Baxter to have some babies before he passes away because he is an elder dog now and I want to reproduce. So yes, Zelda's making her pizza. She is doing her thing. Love Zelda. Love her. Love her. Now what's Josie doing? <gasps> okay, she better not pee herself. All right, let's just give him the heat. Uh, let's confess attraction and then go use toilet. Like. I think I really like you and then just run away and go take a shit. <laughs> Love it. <gasps> Josie has the <laughs> has an exploring their options reputation. See that's the kind of reputation I did want her to have. You know, a girl that gets around more than like a cheetah, a liar, something like that. <laughs> oh, she is so beautiful. Love it. Love her. Uh, she's going to go ahead and get her kicks while she's still young. Um, quote from Greece. Uh, oh my god. He's going to be the perfect little baby daddy. <gasps> I love it. So cute. No, don't bring the baby. Stop, stop. Invite your cuddle on bed. Put the baby back, please. Well, at least he didn't put her on the floor. Uh, I think Zelda made the pizza, so we can go eat after that, because everyone's got the mood now, which I love. And about the Indulgent Bakery set, while we're talking about premium content, um, as you know, with my whole situation with EA and my account being banned mistakenly, uh, I kind of missed the huge sale, and that's when I was going to go ahead and get everything that's really expensive, but now I'm going to have to postpone that for a while I don't want to end up spending even more money on there but um okay these two are cuddling on here we'll talk about that another time but they're gonna go ahead and give a little bit of a peck to each other because they haven't even kissed yet oh they're so cute and he oh, oh. yes yes they were <laughs> they didn't even touch like all right and then we're gonna make out and then we're gonna woohoo love it love it Love it. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Um, to be honest, I loved the Sims 2 interaction on the couch. Like, when they would make out on the couch. I thought that was, like, so hilarious. And Nate is still sleeping. Um, he's going to get up and shower. And then I'm going to send him off on a date with his gal. Which we also need to give a makeover. Because them brows. Cara Delevingne gone wrong. That's what's happening over there, my friend. And she's just eating the pizza alone while one of her kids get laid and the other one is going to get laid even though they're only a teenager. <sighs> I need to calm down on the swearing and the explicitness. But um, teach, trick, shake and um, let's command him to sit, command him to sit up. Um, everyone's kind of affected by Josie but I'm like the only one that doesn't really care at the moment. <laughs> And then we're going to give him a smoochie. Oh, woohooing upstairs. Brush him and take a shower. And these two just woohooed and nice. And we're going to go ahead and actually try for a baby. If you're asking me why, I just want her to have two kids now with her new look. 
because that's going to affect how her baby looks, obviously. So, um, we're not attending a party while her baby cries. <gasps> she's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Love it, love it, love it. And I think we need to, um, I love his little sleepwear, so cute. We need to go ahead and ask him to sleep over before he runs out on us. And then we're going to go ahead and um, get off our butts for a second. Get off your butt. The air smells fresher. The birds twittering in delight. And you feel like you're walking on your tiptoes as, as if you might suddenly burst into flight. That date was incredible. And I agree. I totes my goats agree. Uh, here the moment kiss for you, my friend, because he got some booty. He just got some booty. Um, yes, love it, love it. These two are like my favorite couple of all time on combinations. Better than, oh, are they better than Veronica and Ted? Oh, I don't know. I think they're gonna be. I really think they are. Someone just broke something in the house. We're going to go ahead and embrace. These two need to go ahead and get into the movie. There is no show right now. That's great. They're going to go and get some dinner then instead. And Josie is going to ask if, you know, they want to seal the deal, you know, kind of semi-seal the deal. Make it pretty official as much as they can for now. Uh, I'm not going to rush marriage on her. I know that he probably wants to like go down on one knee now. <laughs> Josie's come such a long way, little Miss Josie. Uh, maybe we should just go ahead and ask him to live here with us first. Um, that might be a good idea. So maybe he can pop the question and our surname will be Spain. <laughs> It'll be pretty cute. Um, come on. Where are all the options? Our baby is like crying. <gasps> lady, where is Lady? Where is? Where are you, girl? Oh, she's outside. <laughs> oh, she's like a little wolf. Uh, eat it anyway. It's probably gonna be the best meal you've ever had. Oh no, he feels sick. <laughs> Why am I not even surprised? Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, Lady is beautiful. I can't tell if he's like, I mean, she is a big dog or like a small dog. She's a puffy dog, that's for sure. But, um, let her come in here. Um, stop all of that. You do your thing. Lady, come over here. It's time to interact with Baxter. And Josie and these two, well, Josie and him. <laughs> Ask to move in. Go, 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 go. Oh, I love Caleb. Caleb, K Caleb? I'm just going to call him Caleb. He better not say no. Yes! <gasps> Arnett. Ooh, I feel like changing their name to Arnett. That's a nice name, Arnett. Um, Caleb and Josie Arnett. Caleb and Josie Spain. We'll keep the Spain... It's not mundane. <laughs> I'm so hyper. By the way, I had to start filming this like three times. Like I had to keep pausing the alien because the bloody rain outside was destroying my window. But oh my god, he's here. Yay. Okay. Hit him a moment, kiss. Give your girl some flowers. Make her your girl. Come on. Family oriented. No. Ask her to be your girlfriend. Does he have a girlfriend? I will flip out. Oh no, he doesn't. We've done the background check. Does he have a job? He doesn't. Any skills? No. What can I expect? He is a basic, above average basic guy. But we're going to kiss her. Uh, give her a hug. Compliment her. Just woo her. Embrace her. Massage. Uh, hold hands. Someone needs to... Oh, not that bad. Uh, Nate needs to come home now from his date. And these two... Yes, there we go. He thinks 
No, she thinks we're being extremely irresistible, which we are. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, Bax is here to watch the show. Oh, I love Josie's room so much. I love Josie. I love Josie. I love Josie. So much. Okay, it's official. Oh, saucy. All right, he's going to go ahead and propose that... What the hell are you doing, Nate, in your ridiculous suit? He's watching TV. What on earth? Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, this family is... Oh, he wants to be a chef. I can see that. I can see that happening. I really can. Um, the outcast child who became the world-renowned chef. We'll see, we'll see. But um, Caleb needs to pop the question before we end this part. I just want it to happen. Don't even stroke her cheek. Pop the question, come on. Their wedding is going to be an actual wedding. It's going to be an exciting one. We're probably going to do it at, like, the beach. We may have to wait, you know, till spring. I don't know. If not, a winter wedding will be nice as well during the holiday season. Oh, and Hank walked in like, um, what is going on here? What? 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 <gasps> what? 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 Yes! Oh! Okay. He's like, bish what? <laughs> Mijwa. <laughs> Yay. Okay, everyone to bed. Yes, they're engaged. I'm so happy. I am slightly rushing everything, honestly, because we've only got three more parts to combinations after this. And then the combinations is over and done with, and we will be starting our new LP, which I'm not going to announce it yet. <laughs> but uh, you've probably figured it out if you know, you're clever enough, but you probably haven't. Uh, if you haven't, no worries. Ah, Elise is here. Okay. I'm going to send everyone to bed, but I am going to end this part right now. I hope all of you are having a great time in your lives with school, work, whatever you do, chilling at home, watching Sims videos and playing Sims because I've done that for the majority of my life. But in the next part, we're going to get Lady and Baxter to get as close as they possibly can so they can have their little bebe before um, Baxter passes away. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye.